adapted. Cradle, used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Writes these notices. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatching the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgerd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. Worked up quite the appetite. My bala stands on three pillars. Good food, good drink, and good fun. Black pudding cures any hangover. Welcome to the Seven Cats, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets are lucky. How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent specifically.
You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. Had enough? Yes, but next time. Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
around with the seat. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Ernst Van Horn? Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havokars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection, and in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... Well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggar's men. Right. 
King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. I was fin about minding my own business when suddenly I popped in the English Ow! Don't pull! Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. Witcher, Witcher. Kareen, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. Or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why. But we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. 